Hey there, hey there, this is Kim, and I'm coming today with some really awesome news. I think that most have probably heard um, about this, but Mid Journey Alpha is available to everyone, and we are super excited about it. Um, I have had access to Mid Journey Alpha now for a while, pretty much all this year, um, as a matter of fact, and it has been awesome. Um, logging into Discord to create in Discord was a challenge. Um, of course, I got used to it after a while, but um, it became a barrier for other people wanting to get into Mid Journey because just getting into Discord was a little difficult. And not to mention, you really had to understand prompting in order to get the generate the type of images that you wanted in Mid Journey. Um, on uh, Discord. But now Mid Journey, just about a couple of days ago, a few days ago, made the announcement that Mid Journey Alpha is now available to everyone. What does that mean? That means that you do not have to go into Discord anymore. It means that um, prompting has become much easier and that all you have to do is just log on to the web version of Mid Journey and you are good to go. So without further ado, I want to kind of dive into Mid Journey Alpha. I've been, like I said, I've been working in Alpha before it went to, uh, went public and I love it. I absolutely love it. And what you see right now is Mid Journey Alpha. And I'm just going to do a walkthrough. So right now I am on the explore page. So when you log into Mid Journey Alpha, uh, depending on what type of subscription you have, um, you know, you should be able to log right into this portion right here, but there are going to be some features that you will see if you have certain subscription, but for the most part, you'll see everything there. So this is the explore portion of mid journey alpha, where you can see all of the images, images that other creators have made. And I really love this, um, because you can go here to really understand what prompts people are using creators are using to get the images that there are that they're creating and you can get a lot of ideas from these images that people are creating from their prompting styles you can uh, use their prompts and then modify their prompts um, to um, to fit the type of images that you're trying to generate so it's really good to see what other people are doing. You could see this over in Discord too, but you'd have all that fast scrolling and then, you know, it was just, it, it could get really chaotic and confusing sometimes. Um, but you have the ability, as you see here, here's an, an image here. Um, you get to see who created the image or what name that they use uh, for their prompting. Um, you are able to, if you click on their image, you're able to use their image as a reference. This is the prompting area up here, um, but you're able to use their image as a reference. You're also able to just see their prompt and to use their prompt. So as you see here, I clicked on the T um, and that would bring up this creator's prompt. Now this creator has a pretty long prompt and th that's also the great thing about it is that you can see the difference and people who are prompting with really long phrase, with really long sentences and descriptions, as opposed to people who are just using short key phrases. Um, you're also able to see the dimensions, the aspect ratios, the stylization, what version they're in here. So that is that prompt. You're also able to use the magnifying glass to see other prompts that are similar to that image, or excuse me, see other images that are similar to that image that you are clicking the magnifying glass for. So that's really cool. I really like that. Um, that's a cool prompt, something that's really great in alpha. And then you're also able to favorite the image so you can come back to it, take a look at it, use the prompt for something, another project that you're working on. There's so many possibilities just in this portion. Now, if we go over here to the create, 
this is where you would create your own images and you're able to type in your prompts here and you'll see your prompts on the side and with some of the um the the, the your aspect ratios and some of your other uh guidings guidance excuse me for your your prompts um your what style it's in what version the stylization all of that the next thing that i really like about alpha is the organized area this is where you can see all of the images that you have created over time um and you're able to filter those images over here on the right hand side you're able to filter those images and see them you know as by a particular uh, filter so i want to see everything that i've hidden you know over the past year so i can click hidden you know or i want to see everything that i did in version five you know and it'll show me all of the images that i have done when i was in version five okay so this is you know that area here you even have some view options where you can kind of change the way that these are viewed you can make them bigger you can have your image size medium small you know etc so i really like this organized area now the chat area is also a really cool area as well because in the chat you can go and you can join the various chats that are going on with other mid journey creators. Um, let me try to get into the lobby here so that I can kind of show you some of the others. Here we go. So here are some rooms that you can go into. Um, they're public rooms. There are some private rooms and then you're able to have your own room. Now I have a mid journey um, membership. I have a membership group and it's called mid journey mastery. And the people who are in my group, they are all part of this playground pastime group. And that's where we go to post images. I give them an image of the month, or excuse me, not an image, but a uh, prompt of the month. And everyone tries out the prompt. We're able to see each other's prompts. We're able to see each other's images and to critique those images as well. You can go into these other, and you can also have the ability to turn on your mic and everyone be on and talk at the same time. So if I were to go here in one of these rooms, let's see prompt craft and mid journey is the owner of that room. Here I'm able to see prompts and images that other creators are creating and the conversations that they're having about those prompts about whatever is here and they actually have a voice chat going on right now um, that you can join and just talk to other creators i think it's pretty cool all right now we're going to go to the task to the task menu here and for the tasks you can see that you can rank images that's how you earn fast hours if you have a lower subscription and you need more hours, more fast hours, you can rank those um, images. You can take the surveys and you can rate ideas, all right? To give mid journey people an idea, you know, some idea of what you would like to see um, with the actual, uh, with mid journey alpha. Now, let me just say this, when you rank the images, there's a there's one thing that you need to know about ranking the images because it plays into some of your prompting. You're gonna be given two images to rank. And so you pick the image that you like the best. So I'm gonna go over here cause I'm more of a photorealistic person. So I'm gonna click that image, right? You can then, you could skip an image if you wanna skip it. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to skip these two because it's not really my style. Like I said, I'm more of a photorealistic person. I like that one. I, I kind of like this. Looks pretty delicious. So I'm going to click on that. This is cool. I'm going to click over here. Okay. So now as I begin to click images more and more, what Mid Journey is doing is that it's understanding what styles I like the most or what styles I prefer. And that's gonna come into play 
when you start prompting if you use the setting that's called personalize. Okay, and so as I click more, you know, I'll get, I'll, I'll rank my, you know, Mid Journey will rank me and put me, you know, in a ranking of whether or not I can um, get some, earn some fast hours for free, you know, but generally I don't need the fast hours, but sometimes I just come in and I rank anyway. So these are real interesting, very, very interesting. So here we are. So we've done this. We've ranked the, some of the images. So now let's go back up here to create because I'm going to show you something with it create. So as we, as you go into the create portion and you want to start prompting, here's where you would prompt. Now in Discord, you'd have to have the back, this, the forward slash imagine, and then you type in your prompt. And then you would have to type in your aspect ratio. You'd have to type in the stylization. You'd have to type in all of those things that you would have to type in. They are now here in this area. And all you have to do is just dial in what you want for a particular image. That's it. That's it. That's all. Just dial it in. So if I were to take, let's say I'm going to take this prompt right here and let's start from scratch with this prompt. So I'm just going to copy that prompt. That's the other thing that I love about this. Everything is just so easy to do. So we're going to put it there. Now I could have, I could have just said use and it would have prompt, you know, put the prompt up there. That's, you can also do that. That is a shortcut way of doing it. And I'll show you that. So I want to use this prompt, right? So all I have to do is just click on use and there it is. Now I'll explain why you see those two images there in a, in a bit, but um, here's my prompt. I'm going to take all of this out because I want to manually put it in or I want to dial it in for the mid journey alpha. So here's the prompt and I will click here to drop down and let's say I wanted this image to be more to ratio two to three, right? Let's say I wanted to create a reel. So I would pull this over more portrait style to two ratio two to three for my image size. And let's say for my stylization, which is, and, and that's the other thing I love about this is because if everything you, you put your mouse on, it'll have an explanation. So here's stylization for your stylized. It influences how strongly mid journey aesthetic is applied. So let's take it down to maybe 300 weirdness here's their explanation for weirdness i hardly ever use the weirdness um prompt but it makes the image quirky weird and like it says unexpected outcomes i'm going to leave it at zero and then the variety is the variety in the four images that i'm going to get how closely do i want those images to look like one another or not and so I usually safely put mine at 30 because I do want a little bit of variety, but I don't want too much of a variety. My mode is always at raw because what I want, the reason why I have mine at raw is because I want mid journey to follow my prompt to the T to the letter. Okay. I don't want mid journey to take, you know, its own um, liberty and make the prompt, you know, to, 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 create something that's you know going to be more along the lines that uh, mid journey can kind of control or have control of I want it to to be solely based on my prompt and that's where you see there I am working in version 6.1 we just went up to 6.1 there are times when I will go back to to six uh six I used to go back to five two when I first got into six but I, then I got used to six and now that we're in 6.1, I rotate back and forth between 6 and 6.1. And then personalize, I turn that off. Now, remember when we were ranking the images, if I've turned it on, then the image that it's going to produce is going to be based on all of the image that, that I have liked over time, not just today, but over time. And so I may not necessarily get 
what I'm looking for because again, it's going based on all those images that I like. I may have liked a cartoon yesterday. You never know. I may have liked something totally different than what I wanted. And then I would, you know, get, would not get what I wanted here. So let's go over here to our more options and our speed. I just go in fast. I don't need to go in turbo. It's okay. Um, and if you want, you can go and relax. It just all depends. Also, it depends on what type of subscription you have. And then stealth mode is um, whether or not you want your images to be seen by the public. All right. So I have my stealth mode on, which means that the public can't see my images. Even if you were to put my ID in, and I'm pretty sure some people are going to try, you're going to probably see a couple of images, some images before. Um, but for the most part, you're not going to see my images because my stealth mode is on. And it also depends on whether or not you have images that are published or unpublished. So that is pretty much the overview of Mid Journey Alpha. Um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a couple of more tutorials on how to actually, and well, let me go ahead and hit enter while I say this so we can see what we get. Um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do some more tutorials on how you can work with uh, consistent character, um, how you can get um, your styles, um, uh, uh, style weights, and using your style, you know, images as style examples uh, or styling uh, for your images. And you see, I got some pretty different images here uh, for that. Um, I'm going to also, you know, talk about everything that goes into um like for instance i'll use this one right here so you there are these little prompts up here at the top and so i'm going to talk about creating character references style references um as well as prompt references and 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 um you know your style weights and your character reference rate weights and getting consistent characters. I'm not going to go into all of that tonight uh, or on this video, but I will definitely go into it in the next video. So that is Mid Journey Alpha. Um, I want to thank you for listening. I want you to like this video, follow my channel for more. There is going to be more and, and, and I have a treat coming because I may be starting a series uh, based on my, some of my mid-journey mid characters. All right. So without uh, further ado, I'm going to let you go and play with mid-journey alpha yourself. All right. See you in the next video.